God bless you. God bless you. When you praise God, God will release testimony for you. When you dance to the Lord, He bless you. When you praise God, He bless you. Bible said David danced to the Lord, and the Lord blessed David.
when you praise God, you get tests because Bible said Paul and Salah praise it to the Lord and the gate was open for them. God need your praise and worship. When you thank God, He bless you. When you dance in the presence of God, He really bless it for you. Because Bible said, Paul and Salah pray and they sing unto the Lord. And the gates of the prison were open. And everyone that was being chained, they were loose. Jesus, God bless you. I seek William. God bless you. When you dance to the Lord, He favor you. Where you go before they rejected you because you dance, because you praise God, and He will favor you. He will make man and woman to be a blessing to you. Are you strong? But maybe things are not well with you. You have been trying to work hard, but you find it difficult. But when you praise God, the door will be open unto you, and He will make your enemy. You will have peace. They will find peace with you. Bible said David died, and God bless David. Say that God bless you. The Lord is good. I want everyone to share, share seven times. Invite people. If you have anyone that's sick, after praising and singing, I see God they are to be receiving healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I want everyone to share.
I want everyone to share a vital friend share to your sibling and your loved one as you do. God bless you. God is about to do amazing things in our midst tonight. Say that God bless your number is number one. Keep on inviting your friends, share to your sibling and your loved ones. Yes, keep on sharing, keep on inviting your friends, share to your sibling and your loved one as you do. God bless you. They have said seven times in the case of man of God have said, I believe you God for your testimony. I believe you God for your breakthrough. And I believe you God for your good news. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Keep on sharing. God bless you. Share seven times. If you are today is your first time, you are here. In the case of man, today, man, no, today is my first time. I believe you, God will do us good tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Kabadabadabadabaha. Keep on sharing, keep on inviting people, share seven times and draw comments.
Keep on sharing. Keep on inviting your friends. Amen. God bless you. Wherever you are watching right now, bring good news for our Lord Jesus Christ to you. We are going to pray tonight as I see in the Simon. Simon, God bless you. We are going to pray tonight. I want you to pray. We have five prayer to pray. And I believe in God, if you can pray tonight, whatever the enemy has stole for you, they will be restored back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to shout this one loud and clear. Say anything I ever lost in the dream. As a result of attack, I take the bar by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, I take the bar. I take the bar. I take the bar. Whatever I ever lost in the dream, as a result of attack, I take the bar. 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 Anything I ever lost in the dream. As a result of attack, I take them by fire. 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 By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, boost the power of my father and my mother's side. Catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every boasted power of my father's side. Every boasted power of my mother's side. Let it catch fire. Let it catch fire, 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 let it catch fire. You boost the power of my father's soul, you boost the power of my mother's soul. Let it catch fire, let it catch fire, let it catch fire, let it catch fire, let it catch fire by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, evil figure that pointing at me be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil finger that pointing at me, let the hand be paralyzed. Let them be paralyzed. Let them be paralyzed. Let them be paralyzed. Let them be paralyzed. Every evil finger pointing at me, let the hand be paralyzed. 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 Let them paralyzed by fire. Let them paralyzed by fire. Every evil finger pointing at me, I curse you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the hand be paralyzed. Let the hand be paralyzed. Let the hand be paralyzed by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Any witchcraft padlock on the gate of my promised land, break and scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the break a scatter, 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 let the break a scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the break a scatter, let the break, let the break, let the break, let the break in Jesus' name we pray. Say, power. Are signed against me for my father and my mother's house. 
be wasted by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power in my father's house, any power in my mother's house, are assigned to monitor my life for evil. We come against you by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let them be destroyed. Let them be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed. Be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. With the fire of the Holy God. Let them destroy by fire. Let them destroy by fire. Let them destroy by fire. Let Destroyed destroy by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Say strong man that say no to my destiny. Be wasted by fire. Any strong man in my father's house, you strong man in my mother's house, are signed against my destiny. I come against you by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the land open and swallow that strong man. Let the land open and swallow that strong man by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Association of wickedness are signed against my destiny by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it by fire, let it by fire, let it by fire, let it by fire, by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we are praying. If your today is your first time you are here, I want everyone to say, I want you to invite a friend, I said to your sibling and your loved one, as you do, God bless you. If you are said seven times, in the case a man of God, I said, Bible said in the book of first, uh, book of uh, book of Matthew, I want I see a name, uh, uh, Petra. God bless you. I see a name, uh, Matthew Chiwen. God bless you. Yeah, Bible said in the book of Matthew 26. If you read verse 69, I want to read something we took with let's see Anthony. God bless you. He said this way. He said, Now Peter was sitting out on the courtyard, and the servant servant girl came to him. He said, You also were with Jesus of Galilee. And she said, But the, he denied before the all. Mm, I do not know him. What are you talking about? He said. I want to share something with you quickly before we will enter administration. Because I see in the Edward, God bless you. I want to talk to you tonight. There's something I title, uh, do not rely on people. So do not rely on people because most of all, we always put in our trust, our hope, our everything confident on people. So Bible said when we read in the book of Matthew, say something powerful. Because it's a great uh, with people. You believe in us, the charity us, or when we are having battle, when things are not going well around us. So it is easy for you to discover it when you always put your hope on people. Because person or people can disappoint you. Because Bible said, Peter, Jesus Christ, uh, telling the disciple, uh, there is a time we come when everybody will run away from him. But the, this Peter said, Master, no matter despite anything that will happen to you, I will always be with you. The Bible said the other day, when the when Jesus Christ will be apprehended, will be arrested, then in Peter, there is a little girl that come to Peter. He said, you were with that man that was arrested. Peter denied Jesus Christ three times. So me in life, what you need to do, you don't need to expect much for people. Because most of people put their trust on man, which is not nice. Because man can tell you tomorrow, he will be kind to you, he will bless you, he will marry you, he will do a lot of things. But at the end, he will disappoint you. So what you need to do, there is certain things that God needs to do for you, not man. But people put their trust and hope on man. That is the reason you see some people being discouraged. Be unhappy, be darkest because someone has disappointed them. So the thing that God needs to do for you, when you are expecting men to do it for you, they will not do it for you. You'll be getting discouraging. You'll be getting confused. That is the reason I keep on telling people that you don't need to put your trust on man. Because God, man can promise you something, but willingly he wanted to help you, but he cannot because the thing is not available. And it will become a disappointment for you. So what you need, you need to put your trust in God. I know man can encourage you. Maybe where you are working, they say you are working nice. 
uh, they are cherish you all the project they are because god will always put people around you to help you to work to make your destiny to move forward but the issue is this you don't need to put your trust on them because where your help is coming for it's not for man it's for god so you need to put your trust on god then it will not bring people around to be a blessing to you so that is i want to talk to you today about do not rely on people it is a great when people believe in us and carry us and making us feel valuable and we love when we are sponsored uh being uh speaking nice about us a friend giving us encouragement our co-worker uh staying uh helping us to make our project to move forward these are good things but despite all those you don't put your trust on men because man can disappoint as Ella said so what you need to do you need to put your trust in god but here is the king you cannot become so depend on the people that you are getting your word and everything for them. You will be where you dress up and you now become an addicted to compliment, addicted to encouragement, addicted to, to cherish you up when things are not working nice with you. Now you rely on them to keep you feeling good about yourself, to always be always there to, to make you happy. But when they try to approve your happiness, like a dress you are not taking, if you keep on uh, people facing you, uh, your expectation and things around you, one day you will be getting discouraged. You will be get when they are no longer with you, then you will be fidgeted. Maybe the whole world is about to end. So I keep on uh, telling people that there is something that God needs to fix for you, which is man cannot fix it. Wife cannot fix it for you. Woman, can, uh, husband cannot fix it. Even your sibling cannot fix it. It's only God that can fix them. But people always put in their trust on men. At the end, they get fidgeted. At the end, they get discouraged. At the end, the people move away from them. They become sick. Why? Because they already put their trust on man. I always tell people, don't put your trust on man, but put your trust in God. I know God cannot come for heaven to help you, but he will use somebody. But when you not put your trust in him, he know the right person to use for you at the right time. He know the right time to bless you. He know the right time for you to take action. He know the right time to change things for you. Maybe somebody walk away for you, but now you are crying. But he said there is a something good ahead of you that is coming. But what you need to do, as long as you put on trust, in God and it will bring the right person for you. Maybe you are being fired in where you are working. You didn't pray for this, but this is happened to you. But when you, because you put on trust in God, it will give you another job that better than the one you ever lost. So I keep on telling people there is certainty that God needs to do that man cannot do it for you. Don't put your trust on men. Don't always let people fix you, make you happy, and talk good about you. When you are being expected this thing, you will be getting discouraged. That's why scripture said Peter was a closer friend among the disciples to Jesus Christ. Night and day they always with Jesus Christ. But when Jesus Christ needed Peter most and he was about to crucify. As we're about to crucify, but Peter denied Jesus Christ three times. But when Jesus Christ looked at Peter, Peter realized the promise, the prophecy that Jesus Christ has given. So I keep on telling you because Bible said the other day there is a man that called Ahitophel. Anytime Ahitophel around David, David felt there is a counsel of God within. But the other day Ahitophel discovered he made David fidgeted because Ahitophel go to opposite of uh, the opponent of David. So I, David was feel bad. He never believed that Ahitophel would do something because the counsel of Ahitophel is like it's God that gives the counsel. So because David was putting on hope, Ahitophel, that's why he disappointed David. So I keep on telling people, until David run to God and cry to God in prayer, then God turned this around for him. So whatever, anything you are going through, don't always make people fix you. Don't always make people happy. Maybe when you are with people, it's when you now be starting happy. Maybe when somebody bless you, promise you, no. So what you need to do, you need to go to God, put your trust in God. Because by David said, my help come for the Lord. So your help is not for man, it's not for woman, it's for the Lord. But when you keep up putting your trust in God, God will make bring the right people for you. Give you the right promotion at the right time. Open the new door for you. 
push you ahead of people. The, your enemy will make you make peace, have peace with your enemy because you have put your trust on God. But don't ever put your trust on man because don't quick rely on people what they do or what they does not do because what people do don't determine your destiny i keep up because one day as uh, somebody called me he said uh prophet we will go to your church and fix certain things i moved to church and i waited for him did he come i was not angry with him i didn't feel bad i was uh, i said maybe this person is busy so i did i'm not the one that called him to come to like i help her to fix it in the church i wish i put my trust all my relies on that man that man i will like, be feel bad about thing. so the follow day called me said he was really tired i was not able to come so because i didn't realize on him i know with god all things are possible i was not feel bad about thing. i was not feel bad i waste my time i'll be waiting for him he didn't come but i didn't feel bad but what and I, I tell myself, maybe he's tired. Maybe he have another thing he's doing. That's why he didn't come. Because he is the one that promised me that he will come. So these are the way you can do with people. When you are expect much for people, you will be getting discouraged. When you are expect much for people, you will be you you will fidget it. When you expect much for people, it's where you see people are uh, certain say, oh, I don't know this person can do that. Because you put your trust and uh, you put your reliance on people. Don't quit the rely on people because there is a something that God needs to do for you, which man cannot do. So because majority of these people in the world, they only put it trust on men. That is really, you see society, people are being dirty, discouraged, commit suicide, many things in the city because they rely on people. But what you need to do don't rely on people but rely on god i know maybe mark it can bring somebody to be a blessing to you it's very nice it's quite good but because you rely on god when somebody walk away for you, maybe your loved one walk away for you because you didn't put your trust in him you didn't like it will not be a kind of discouraging it will not make you feel bad but when you put on trust on that man or you rely on the man when he walk away for you we feel maybe the whole world have end maybe things a battle but because you are put Putting your trust on the man. So, but when you put your trust on God, when somebody walk away for you, you will not cry because you know there is a promise of God in your front. When somebody, maybe where you are walking, you are being fired, you will not cry because the job, that way, the way you are walking, is not your supply, it's God your supply. Maybe God have good things ahead of you. Where maybe somebody promised you and he failed you because you know your God is a God that lives, is of yesterday and today and forever. You will not be worried about what the person does against you maybe somebody wants to make you to be discouraged somebody make you unhappy you will not be because of the person make you unhappy because man cannot make you happy your happiness is a personal something that god already put in all a peace that's a by jesus christ said the peace that he gave to us is not like the way the world given so the peace of god that is already in you is more than the world the world can give but what you need to do you need to put a trust on god rely on god because if you rely on men, they can disappoint you, they can disapprove you, they can start and they will not finish. They can make you being discouraged, they can make you being fidgeted. But when you put your trust in God, you always come back with testimony in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I see people be saying, uh, say, I prophet, life is not fair, I'll uh, be kind to people, they pay me with evil. The reason you feel that they pay you with evil because you rely on them. When you be happy to some but they all be a blessing to person. Don't put your trust that he will pay you back. That is the reason you fidgeted that this person has paid you with evil. Where when you are be kind to people. When you are being kind, maybe by happy them or being advice or being in that kind of trouble, you will be with them. It doesn't need for them to pay you back. But what you need to do, you are doing what Jesus Christ is supposed to do on earth. So because any seed you are sowing, that is the seed, the seed you will reap. When you be kind to people, God will bring people that will be kind to you. When you sow a seed into people's life, God will bring people that will sow a seed into your life. When you people are being discouraged, when people that don't have hope, you try to 
accommodate them. You be kind to people in money. Anytime you be in trouble, God will bring people that will be a help to you. These are the things of life. So don't rely on people so that you will not be discouraged, so that you will not be fidgeted, so that you will not be unhappy, on that cars. That is the reason you see many people in the city, in the society, they are drinking, they are doing a lot of things in the community so that become user in the city because the person they put hope on them, they are disappointed. I come to announce, uh, encourage you in the Lord that you should have faith in the Lord because God of yesterday and today and forever, He have never said goodbye. Is it people speaking evil against you? They try to bring you down. The spirit the thing he doesn't understand. Don't worry because God see everything. No matter anything they try to do to bring you down, God will use it to be a blessing to you. Because Bible said when Mordecai was in the foreign land, he said there is Hema because of the the, 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 the authority that the king have gave to him, he want to override the people of God. But Mordecai understand time at time. No matter this man was trying to do, he's trying to use the power of man, but not power of God. But because Mordecai understand the season at time, God said, with Mordecai understand with God all things are possible. Even when Hema, they plan everything, they try to sign to destroy him and his loved one, the people around him and the people of Jewry. Then went to God in prayer. When they come back, they come back with testimony. So I wish Mordecai realized on the king that because of Queen Esther, maybe they might be destroyed because they didn't put the real light on the king, but they put hope on God. Then God turned this around for them. I keep on telling people, no matter the situation you are, no matter where you are, right? I know where you are. I know things are not working well with you. I know you are struggle. I know you are trying to make things, but things are not. You are being working, but there is no promotion. Maybe you are trying to get document, but the document have not coming out. You are asking yourself, why is it my life is like this? Is it somebody calls me? I'm under a call. Nobody calls you. But because you are putting your trust on man, that is the reason you see things are not working nice with you. But anytime you now realize that with man, there is nothing possible. But with God, everything is possible. It's where you started receiving good news. You receive testimony. You receive breakthrough. You receive favor. You receive... You start smile, the joy will be coming to your home. Why? Because you are realized with God, all things are possible. What you need to do as a uh, as a person, don't put your trust on my evil. Your wife, don't put your trust on them. Because one day I will see a lady inside. It will drop her children uh, with the husband and leave. I will not come back again. These are the things that man can do. If this, I was not asking myself if this man. If this lady are living with this man for a long time, if he can take this decision, how much the person that you meet on your way? So I always tell people that you don't rely on people. You always keep up trusting God for your testimony, trusting God on your breakthrough, trusting God on your marriage, trusting God on your financial favor, trusting God on your this that when you put your trust in God in this day, you always come back with testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Do not quit to rely on people. What they do or what does not do. It determines your what. What you give or what you did not give. It doesn't stop your purpose. When people try to stop you, they are not God. Because we have our Father, Jesus Christ, that live in heaven. No matter they try to talk evil against you, they can't stop you. Because they are not your God. Because Bible said, they that know they are God, they will do as for. Enemy might bring an attack, maybe sickness. Maybe you might be sick in order to stop the work of God in your life. Maybe you are being fired where you are walking. Because these are human mind, they are used to fire you. But there is a good news is this. Because there is another job that better than where you are working now. There is another somebody that better the person that walk away for you. When somebody walk away for you, don't cry. Don't blame yourself because you are not doing right. You do what you can do. You know the best you do it. But there is something that makes it that God wants to do for you. It's better than this one you have already. Maybe you lost your job. I keep on telling people that you didn't pray to lose your job. You didn't pray somebody die. You didn't pray that your company have closed. These are the things it come on the way. But there is a good is that Bible said there is a, a letter a, because Bible said Job was be afflicted. But Bible said when the Job prayed to his friend, Job received twice of what he lost. Me, when you are being fired, where you are working, maybe you are working for many years, but there is no promotion, there is no sign of romance, and things are not working well with you. You are be kind, you are doing your work, you do it very nice, but they didn't recognize you. Don't cry, don't complain, don't blame yourself. Life 
life is not fair. But what you need to go put your hope on God. Because with God, all things are possible. Bible said in the book of Job 42, if you read that, Bible said when Job lost everything that he has, everything that he lived on, everything that he breathed on, everything of Lord, and even his wife tell Job to cause God so that he will die. But Job tell his wife, why must I cause God? Do you remember how God being kind to us? How God being provide food, nice things around, but now the evil day have come. We don't pay God with evil with good. May God have capacity to turn things around for you. No matter the situation you are, no matter the challenge you are going through. Are you sick? Maybe you are in the hospital bed. You are being in the bed, you are being sick for many years. You thought maybe the end, you have seen the end of your day. You have seen the bad of your day. Don't let me tell you something. Jesus Christ have never said goodbye because Bible said there is a man was in the pool of Bethesda about 38 years this man in what that situation that you don't have a brother he don't have it. There is nobody around it to help him. But in what that situation, one day when Jesus, when Bible said, when the angel came to steal all the water, the people around the have people and they will throw their people in the water. They will get here and go back home. But as for this man, he keep on staying in that particular situation for many years. And that man has been in that place. Even he understand how the angel came. He understand how the water worked. He started advising, but any time the angel came to steal the water, that they should run. That when they enter, they will get him. But as for him, he's not getting healing. Why? Because he don't have a person to help him. Are you in that situation? You are Christ and you don't understand, brother. I've been in that situation. I don't have a person to help me. I've been alone in where I'm staying. I don't have a brother. I don't have a wife. I don't have children. I don't have a job. I've been working or I've been, there's no promotion because I don't know anybody where I'm. Let me tell you something. Jesus Christ of yesterday and today and forever. No matter the circumstance of life, he's still here to turn this around for you. Because he said that, he said, the, he said the letter of Job, it was better than the way it was before. So no matter the circumstance of life you are right now, I'm seeing God turning this around for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you sick? You are sick, bear. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. May you be healed and deliver are you as expecting for financial favor and you are being looking for money but you don't have money but let me tell you something because bible said the other day when jesus christ instructed disciple peter to go and throw their net on the water he said the first thing when you open you will find a money inside go and pay my b and your o peter never planned anything Peter never expect to receive money, but Jesus Christ orchestrated the money in the mouth of fee. He said, go and pay yours and mine. So I want to tell you today, are you heavy debt? Maybe you have, uh, maybe where you are saying you cannot able to pay, or you are being, uh, where you are saying your apartment, for a long time you can't able to pay, you are struggle. You are crying, how can it change for me? Let me tell you something, Jesus Christ is with me. As you can see, Jesus Christ is with me and is with you. Holy God living in you, and he live with me. But today, every circumstance of life, every battle you are fighting, every challenge, anything you have been fighting, it's like the war is about to end. I see God about to turn this around for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you might say, brother, you don't understand. This circumstance I have for six, I'll be charged who these are the way I'll be facing battle. I don't get love anytime people want to help me. There is a power always fight me. Let me tell you something. What you said was true it was yesterday, but today is another day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad on him. And I declare unto your life by the decrees of heaven that any power that vowed to waste you and your family may the power be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. You might say, brother, you don't understand. I'll be spending my money in the hospital. What you said was true. It was yesterday, but today is another day. That every arrow the fire into your life, in order to cause you sickness, in order to cause you pain, in order to cause you delay, in order to cause you disappointment. I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let the arrow by fire to send her in the name of Jesus Christ. You might ask me, say, brother, I don't know why is it that um, I always me wrong 
wrong people. The reason why you are meeting wrong people because the time for you to meet the right person have not come. Because God knows that if you meet the right person for now, you might miss you the person, it will work away for you. That is the reason now you always meet wrong people. But I see good people ahead of you that they will help you, they will be kind to you, they will be nice to you, and they will always be with you in the time of trouble. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, are you sick? Are you praying for you receive your visa? You have been going to embassy for many times, but they rejected you. Let me tell you the reason why those things are happening to you. Because your time for you to get your visa have not come. That is the reason you are facing those battles. But when the times come, when you go there, they will say, ah, you are big coming. They have not attend to you. They will attend to you. And you will receive your favor in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray that every power assigned to cut delay over your life, let the power be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. God will use a door or evil to work on you. Looking back now, I realize God was searching me not to realign on what people think. You see, God is don't he don't want to realize on what people think or what people say about you. So God wanted to realize on him and he wanted to have the applause for him, approve for him. And if I do not learn back then, I will not have sustained here today. So I want you to understand that it's the reason why the thing you are passing through now. God wants you to learn a lesson. He wants you to give you hundred percent of assurance, and He wants you to want to give you hundred percent of belief and trust. That is the reason where you are right now. It's like things are not working well with you. God doesn't need person approval to be a blessing to you. Maybe your neighbor do speak evil against you. Your neighbor is not your God. Maybe you are trying to tell them that this thing they are saying is not true. When people believe what they believe, you can't change them. But what you need to do, just put your trust on God. Do no matter anything they speak again, when you look at the smile apart, don't have the conversation with like by arguing, say you are you don't say they are saying it's not true. Because they already believe what they want to believe. No matter anything you say, they will not believe it. So what you need to do, don't worry about what they say concerning you. Don't try to argue with them. Don't try to make yourself right. Don't try to make something that's so let no because they already believe what they want to believe. But when you put your trust in God, God will fight for you. You when you try to fight your battle, you cannot fight it right. But God will fight the battle for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ that any power assigned to fight your destiny, any power assigned to make you become a bad person in the city, may the power be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm. You try to keep all these things happy, and you will never become everything a God created. If you want people to be happy around you, you will find yourself at the end, you will miss the road. But what you need to do, you need to try to approve what God approved for you, not what men approve for you. A man can speak good for you because you be kind to them today. But if you are not kind, well, they can speak evil against you. But what you need to do, Put your trust in God and He will fight for you and He will fight it well. Because men, you said to men to help you, they might not do it, they might do it today, but tomorrow they will not do it. But if you put your total on God, rely on God and He will fight for you in the time of trouble. If you believe, shall I receive. God bless you. <laughs> Yes, keep on inviting. I see a name, mercy, mercy. God bless you. Yes, God bless. You. I want everyone to share. I want you to invite your friend, uh, share to your sibling and your loved one as you do. God bless you. Kaba da ba da ba da ba ha. Mali asu ata ilu ali alieta ali ali aza. Thank you, Jesus Christ. See God turning this around. I see God turning this around for people. I see God opening door, the door that enemy has shut against them. I see God being open unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Kaba da ba da ba da ba ha. 
Yes, I see bless, bless, God bless you, mercy, God bless you. I see the King Hope, God bless you. Yes, I want everyone to share. I want everyone to share. If you are shared seven times, in the case of man of God, I'll share. If your today is your first time you are here, in the case of man of God, today is my first time. Okay? If your today is your first time you are here, in the case of man of God, today is my first time, I will pray for you. Because as I see many people, I see like, uh, as I'm hearing good news, good news, good news. Yeah, I see good news is coming to people right now. I see good news. I see God is opening door for people. There's some people here, you are being expressed like a document, something. But I see that document be released for you. Mali Asu Ata, Elo Ali Alieta, Ali Ali Alieza. Yes, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I see a name, Anthony. Anthony, God bless you. Anthony, God bless you. I need to pray for you, Anthony. Because there is something God wants to do in your life. I want you to WhatsApp me, okay? I will talk to you. WhatsApp me. I will talk to you. God bless. I see a name, Chuku, Ife Chuku, Jerry. God bless you. Yes, I want everyone to share. I want you to invite your friend. I said to your sibling and your loved one, as you do, God bless you. Kabada bada 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 baha. Yes, I want everyone to share. If you're, today is your first time you are here, in the case of man of God, today is my first time. I see in the Amarachi, Amarachi, God bless you. Keep on sharing, keep on inviting your friend, uh, share to your sibling, uh, your loved one. As you do, God bless you. If you are blessed, in the case of man of God, I've said, I believe in God for your testimony. I believe in God for your breakthrough. I believe in God for your good news. In the name of Jesus Christ. If I call you a video call, pity call, let me pray. <coughs> How are you, sir? Hey, how you doing, man? God bless you. Can I talk to you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I need to pray for you, sir, because when I look at you, I see so much potential around you. Okay? Gl glory. I see so much potential around you. But I hear I should pray for you. Because when I look at you, there is something that happened in the month of uh, August. August. I'm hearing like August. 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 There is something that happened in the month of August. Can you hear me? Uh, August, August is my birthday. That, that's my month. My birthday. Uh, see something happen. Let me see your hand. Let me see your hand. Okay. 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 Thank you, Jesus Christ. Drop your hand. Because when I look at you now, I see in the realm of the spirit, I see you as a great person. Because when you were born, I see like a star. I see so much star around. But I see a lady like giving you a food. But this food is like, I see this lady, you know, like a river. I see this like a river, but not a big sea, okay? But I see they give you something to eat in order to stop the thing that God wants to do for you. Because when I look at you, I hear I should tell you because I see next year, next year on the 13th of August, I see God want to give you a double blessing. Okay? Because the reason Lord. why where you're supposed to be right now, you are not in that position because there nope. is a lady I'm seeing. Are you in that position? Uh, I understand what you're saying. Uh, yep. I'm listening. Because where you supposed to be right now? Because I see somebody like in California, but this person is supposed to be a blessing to you. Okay, but the problem now that is a spirit that be assigned. Because in the realm of the spirit, I see like misunderstanding of issue of money. You know money, right? I see Mr. Yes, of yes. like issue of money, issue of money. Yes. I see Mr. Yes. issue of money. 
Am I making sense? Yes. You make it sense. Uh -huh, because when I look at you, I see this spirit is from the river. I will try to see, I see like your grandmother, like your grandmother. Because I try to go to the street where the problem is coming from. And I see that when I trace the problem, I see like for your grandmother's side. Okay, that's where this problem is coming from. But I hear as you pray, because if I pray for you, I see within 2023, I see God want to elevate you because I see money of issue, money issue, money issue. Yeah. Because yeah. I don't know whether the issue are being settled. I don't know whether the issue are being settled. Because I hear as you pray for you that any power are being assigned against you in order to delay the testimony of God in your life. Let the Lord open yeah. and swallow them in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Do you know somebody that are living like Arizona, 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 Arizona? Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I'm from Arizona. Oh, you, you are from Arizona because I hear, I should tell you, because before next year, before August next year, Arakai 20th of August, I see double blessings about to hit your door. Okay? I see there's a thing that will baffle the mind of people. Because I see God want to release financial breakthrough for you. I see God yes. want to release money for you. Okay? I see money about to hit your door. But I hear as yes. you pray that any power that fights your mother, that fights your grandmother, that want to fight you, let the power be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Right. Mali Asu Atta Ilo Ali Alieta. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Thank you Holy Spirit. In the name of Thank Jesus you. Christ, pray for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. That any power Thank that you. fight your parents that want to fight you, let the power be arrested by the power yes, of the you. Holy Ghost. Receive Thank it you. in the name of I Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Make sure you WhatsApp me. There is something I want okay. to give you some direction. Okay. After okay. seven days, you said to see something. Okay. Gotcha. You said to see you, something. Uh, God bless you. Bye. Right. Yes, I want everyone to say, well, oh, people are not sharing. I feel to prophesy. Kali Anta, Leso Anta. I want everyone to say, Wherever you are watching right now, distance is never a barrier. I want you to share seven times and drop comment. If you have shared in the case a man of God have said, I believe in God for your testimony. I believe in God for your breakthrough. I believe in God for your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Le Babaka, I see in name as Sarah. Sarah, God bless you. Sarah, I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let God arise and let your enemies scatter. Any power assigned to discourage you, <clears throat> let the power be arrested by fire, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, receive it right now. In Jesus' name we pray. Le Baba Kaha Kaba Daba 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 Ha. I think God want to do amazing things in our midst. Yes. I see God want to favor people <clears throat> because there is some door that enemy assault against people here. I see the door be open. I see the door be open. Mm. I want everyone to share. If you're, today is your first time, make sure you indicate a man of God. Today is my first time. If I call you, pick. Mali, so if I call you on video, call, make sure you pity, call, let me pray for you. Because there is some people here, I've seen God want to be blessed. <laughs> they want to be blessed by God. But I want you to share seven times and drop comment. I want to share and drop comment. I see a name, Mali Atta. Mali Atta, how are you? Good, how are you? How are you, sir? Oh, God bless Good. you. Can how I you? pray for you? Yes. Can I pray for you, sir? Yes. I'm supposed to, I need to pray for you. It's two things I want to tell you. Number one, I need to pray against attack. Because I see enemy want to attack your head. Okay? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Eh? Yes. And number two, 
God want to use you, okay? God want to use you. Yep. Oh, you did hear that? Yes. God want to use you. And there is a calling of God upon your life. But because of too much of battle around, and it's like the thing is not manifesting. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, 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 yes. But why is it that you are doing the work of man at the same time you are doing the work of woman? Where is your wife? She sleep. Eh? Eh? She sleep. She sleep. Because I'm seeing you, it's like you are man at the same time you are woman. But I need to pray for you. Because whatever the enemy are planning against you, it will not stand. Okay? Yes. Mm, I see enemy are planning against you, but it will not stand. But what we do, what's up me? Because you need spiritual father so that you can able to reach. Because it's where God wants to take you to. Because you're not supposed to be struggle for money, but now you are struggle. Because where God wants to take you to, you are not able to meet the right prophet to give you direction. Okay? Yet, if you meet the right prophet, yes. I see your future is very bright. Eh? Your future is very bright. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your son by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, stretch your mighty hand to deliver him from the cartis of the enemy. Every spiritual embargo in your way, let it be removed by fire, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So God bless you, sir. Make sure you WhatsApp me. Eh? I will talk to you later. Yep. Yes, I want everyone to share. Wherever you are watching right now, distance is never a barrier. <laughs> she said, I see a name, Badamu. Badamu, God bless you. Yes, God bless you. There is something I'm seeing God about to do. Mm. I see God about to turn this up. Badamu, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because there is a castration of the enemy against Benjamin. But I pray that every plan on the enemy against Benjamin, let it be canceled by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I see God is opening door right now. There is some people here, you are believing God for financial favor. I see financial favor is being coming to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, I see financial breakthrough is coming. It's coming. Receive it right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus, they will pray. Le Baba Kaha. Mm. Yes, I want everyone to share. I want you to invite your friend, uh, say to your sibling and your loved one, as you do, God bless you. If you are said seven times, in the case of man of God, I'll say, I believe in God for your breakthrough. I believe in God for your favor. And I believe in God for your testimony. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus, they will pray. If your today is your first time you are here, I want you to indicate say, man of God, today is my first time. Mali, Mali Atta, Li Atta, Li Atta. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. But I see God is turning this around. I see a name Augustine. 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 I need to pray because I see me. So that's between you and your sibling. Between you and your sibling. But I pray for you that any power that bring it comfort between you and your loved one, let the power be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Le Baba Ka Kaba da ba da ba ha. Yes, keep on invite. I want everyone to share. If your today is your first time, you are here. In the case of man of God, today is my first time because I see God about to bless somebody here. 
because I see there is a somebody that enemy has shut door against you. Because you are here, I see the door be open for you. Receive it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive. Yes, I want everyone to share wherever you are watching right now, distance in never a barrier. I share seven times, say, in the case of man of God, I say, I believe in God for your testimony. I believe in God for your breakthrough. And I believe in God for your good news. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. If I call you on video call, make sure you pay the call because there's some people here that need prophetic and direction. Why the other people need some deliverance? So if I call you, make sure you pay the call. Let me pray for you. So that anyone that needs deliverance, I will call that deliverance for you. Anyone that needs a prophecy, I will give prophecy. Mali Asu Ata Ilo Ali Alieta. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I want everyone to share wherever you are watching right now. <laughs> Distance is never a barrier. Share seven times and drop comment. If you are share in the case a man of God, I say, I believe in God for your testimony. I believe in God for your breakthrough. And I believe in God for your good news. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, sir? I'm fine. Where are you watching from? I'm watching from Namibia. So tell me, what do you want God to do for you? I want God to, to heal me. Oh, to heal you? Yes, I'm painting. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, close your eyes. Let me pray for you. I pray for your daughter by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, stretch your mighty hand that every arrow fire into your body, let the arrow go back to sender. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak fire into your soul now. Holy go fire your body. Every part of your body, in the name of Jesus Christ, yes, lose a letter go. That demon, that spiritual husband, out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, yes, I lose you now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes, 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 lose a letter go. Lose a letter go. Lose a letter go. That spiritual husband, I torment you by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let the fire of the day of Elijah appear on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak fire into your body now. Yes. Yes, lose a letter go. Lose a letter go. Lose a letter go. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, with the fire of the Holy Ghost, lose her in the name of Jesus Christ. That wicked spirit, that arrow, the fire into your body. I torment you, that spirit of delay. Every spirit that fire, every spirit that sign against you, that touched you in the dream, that causes pain in your body. I command fire God for your body, for your head to your toe. I send it on fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Lose her in the name of Jesus Christ, you wicked demon. Out in the name of Jesus Christ, torment you by fire, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go. 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 By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Open your eyes. Amen. Where you have pain, touch the place. Anywhere you have pain, stand up. The thing that you cannot do before, try to do that. I'm just painting here. Up, uh, down, abnormal. Uh, here, down here. Okay, place your hand and come, close your eyes. Place your hand. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Place your hand where you have a pain in your body. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Put your two hands. Put your two hands. Yes. You will feel fire now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. I touch you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Lose a letter. Go wherever they tie you down. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Touch her. Yes. Touch her. Let her be delivered. Let her be delivered. I lose you anywhere they tie you down. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ. With the fire of the Holy Ghost. I touch your stomach with fire. 
that serpent that tie waist tied around your waist. I command fire go upon that serpent in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, lose her, let her go. Holy go fire in your waist. Holy go fire in your waist. I lose you. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I torment you with fire. Every part of your body. In the name of Jesus Christ, lose her, let her go. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, let her be delivered. Wherever they tie you down, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, let the power of God move in your body. Yes, 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 yes. You cannot hide. You cannot hide. I touch your forehead with fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, yes, yes. Let her go. Let her go. Let her go. I touch you with fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire your body. Every part of your body. You cannot hide. Every part that serpent that tied down your waist, I come up for your God upon your body now. Out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you cannot hide. You wicked demon, I torment you with fire. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I come against you. Holy Ghost, fire your body. Every part of you, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, wherever they tie you down, I lose you now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. I lose you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, set her free. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' you, name. Jesus. Amen. Stand up. Try to do those things that you cannot do before. Stand up and do them. Stand up and try those things you cannot do before. Try. Because I believe my Father, Jesus Christ, will be you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Those things that you cannot do before, try to do them. Try to do it. You are free, okay? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, no. glory, glory. No pay. Eh? Yes. But I was feeling I something is moving. But I was no. feeling something is moving. It's a serpent. There is a spirit of serpent and spirit that tie your waist. So now, how do you feel? I'm okay. Oh, the pay have gone. Mm. Eh? I said, yes, the pay has gone. Hallelujah. Huh? You, are, you are here and you are delivered. That serpent that be disturbing your waist, it is out. So Jesus Christ have healed you. You are free. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Amen. Kabada bada bada baha. Mali asu ata ilo ali alieta. If today is your first time, you are here. I want you to share. Uh, in the case of man of God, today is my first time. I will pray for you, and I believe in God for your testimony. I believe in God for your breakthrough, and I believe in God for your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, Bible says, "Him of yesterday, and today, and forever." Kabada bada 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 baha. Mali asu ata ilo ali alieta. Mali ali alieza. I see God turning this around for you. Yes, I can hear good news. I can hear testimony. The God that is doing for that sister, he will do it for you. Anywhere you are having pain, you are facing delay, I see that yoke of delay being broken in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That yoke of delay, that yoke of step back, that yoke of hardship, it will be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus, they will pray. Le Baba Kaha. Mm. Kabada Bada Bada Baha.
I want everyone to share. Michael, God bless you. Yes, if you are, today is your first time you are here, in the case of man of God, today is my first time. I believe you, God, for your testimony. I believe you, God, for your breakthrough. And I believe you, God, for your good news. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mali Asu Ata Ilu Ali Alieta. Ali, Ali, Aliezer. I see God turning this around for your children. <clears throat> Whatever the enemy I take away for you, because you are here, I decree upon your life. Let them restore back to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let them restore back to you. Any power that fights your testimony, let the power be destroyed. Let them be destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, Perpetua, God bless you. How are you? Hello. God bless you. Can I pray for you? Yes, please. You want prophecy? I should pray for you. Please, any one of them. I need both. I, I need to tell you something because I see delay. I see delay. You know delay. Yes, please. I see delay because I see somebody taking your picture to Ghana. I see somebody taking your picture to Ghana in order to cost like money. Yeah, I'm coming money. from Ghana. Aha, uh -huh. because I see enemy want to cause delay in your life. Because I see like, I see like disappointment. I see people walk away for Very you. True. But don't worry, I will pray for you. Very Am true. I making sense? Mm -hmm. Yes, eh? yes, you are making. Yes, everything you are saying is true. I'm from oh Ghana God. and I'm even Ghana now. Oh my God. I will pray for you that any power I be assigned against you, the power will be arrested, okay? Amen. Amen. Because you are a great, you are a great woman, but so much battle around. But here, as you release the power to be fighting you. The power will be arrested in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your daughter Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus. stretch your mighty hand to deliver her from the cartis of the enemy. That whatever the enemy may for evil for you, let it turn for good. That anywhere they place your Amen. name and your picture in any evil altar, I send the altar of Jesus. fire by the power of the Holy Jesus. Spirit. In Jesus' Amen. name, we are praying. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless you too. Yes, if today is your first time you are here, my number is on the screen. Make sure you WhatsApp me. If you call me, don't tell me the reason why you call me. And I will tell you why you call me. And I believe my father, Jesus Christ, he will make this night for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. <clears throat> don't worry, Michael. God want to turn this around for you. Relax, okay? And relax. God want to do something in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mali Asu Ata Ilo Ali Aliez a time to Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for your son and your daughter by the power of the Holy Spirit. 
Let God arise and let your enemies scatter. Every enemy of their good news, enemy of their testimony, enemy of their breakthrough, let them be arrested by fire, by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name we pray. Kabada Baha. The Lord is good. When you thank God, He bless you.